So part of it is recognize to say that, yeah, you know, today might be a hard day. You know, it's okay to have a hard day, but I think we can always um, reinforce, we can always um, sort of um, promote that, our ability to be able to do something. Like, yeah, yeah I can get through it, mm -hmm. right? And I think that's more motivating because a lot of time if we have so much negative message, I can't do it, I can't do it. This is too hard, I shouldn't try. And over and over and over again, that's the message that we send ourselves. That's the story that we have created for us. It's not to say that, hey, this is easy. Go, have fun. We're going to be an awesome day. You know, it doesn't quite, it's not realistic. It's not believable. But to normalize that, hey, you know, this is a hard day. You know, today I am going to have some challenges. But I, I can tolerate it. I can get through it. And maybe for them, set whatever the goals that they want to set. You know, and I think this is a time I think we should recognize, you know, I think school has always been like learning, learn your alphabet, learn this, learn that. During this period of transition, it's, I think it's good to give ourselves, parents and kids, some permission to recalibrate and set goals that make sense for us. You know, so today it's going to be a hard day. I'm going to just be there and try my best to be in the classroom for five minutes at a time. I'm going to talk to one person. Instead of I'm going to make a new friend, you know, so I think really um, make a re, uh, make the expectation um, reachable, but also just really promote the kids own ability to be able to handle it. Because I think our kids are tough. They're really resilient, but we, we want them to believe that because yeah. they don't a lot of times because there's so much neg mess negative messages has been said to them or they send it to themselves.